So how can we get enough sleep and raise children at the same time? This is a very tough situation, and I give a few different strategies in my book about what you can do if you've got children who are disrupting your sleep. The, very, the easiest thing and the first thing I tell is shifts. If, you're, if you as a parent are an early to bed, early to rise person, then you may take the late shift if a child is waking up. So if the child has a tendency to wake up at 4 a.m. and you normally wake up at 5.30, this might be an okay time for you to be able to handle that. Whereas if your bed partner doesn't go to bed until 1 o'clock in the morning and then sleeps until 8, then they may take the early shift. So having shifts in a given night is going to be important based on your own sleep habits. Let's say it's not quite that easy and you're both early to bed people, okay? Well, then what I have you do is I have you pick days during the week. So the husband does Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the wife does um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday all bets are off. <laughs> um, and you're on call, if you will, for your child uh, or children. Because both parents don't need to have poor sleep just because a child or children are up. Only one parent really should be able to handle that situation. And so again, structuring it through one evening and or across a week can be a great strategy.